Hello, in this video we will understand Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is the very basic concept and the most used concept in electrical engineering. So we will try to understand this law. Basically Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is a law which says how EMF is generated in a closed conducting loop whenever it sees a change in magnetic flux. So we can say Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction as whenever the magnetic flux through the area bounded by the closed conducting loop changes and EMF is produced in the loop. The produced EMF is given as E equals to minus d phi by dt. Carefully observe this expression of EMF induced in the closed conducting loop. Here d phi by dt is the rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. So if the rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time is more, the induced EMF in the closed conducting loop will be more. Similarly, if the rate of change of magnetic flux through the closed conducting loop is less, the EMF induced in the conducting loop will be less. Also notice the negative sign here. This negative sign has something to do with the Lenz's law which we will explain and discuss in our next video. Here phi is the magnetic flux. As we know magnetic flux stands for the number of magnetic field lines passing through a closed volume or closed surface area. Next we will go through the Faraday's experiment to check how Faraday's law works. So this is a small simulation tool which we will see to check the Faraday's law. So this is a magnet and this is a closed loop and here the terminals of the loop are connected to a voltmeter and through a lamp. So if you just move this magnet toward the conducting loop you can see there is a variation in the induced EMF as you can see here in the voltmeter. Similarly, if you take this magnet out of the conducting loop, you see the induced EMF has opposite direction. I am again showing the experiment, carefully observe. I am bringing this magnet into the coil. The induced EMF is in the negative side as this needle moves toward the negative side. Now I am bringing this magnet out of the coil. So the induced EMF has a direction toward the positive side. So as I discussed in the expression of induced EMF E equals to minus d phi by dt there is something called negative sign. This negative sign has a meaning which I will explain in Lange's law. I will also show you one thing. If you increase the rate of change of magnetic flux through the coil the induced EMF will be more as you can see. You check it. So from this experiment we can have some conclusions and some observations. So first of all we will check the observation. As we have seen in our experiment as the bar magnet is about nearer to the loop there is a deflection in the galvanometer. Here in the experiment we used voltmeter instead of galvanometer. If you have used galvanometer the same response would have been there. This means that that uh, this means that a current is flowing in the loop in a particular direction as shows as shown by the deflection of the galvanometer. But the current can only flow if there is some EMF. This means there must have been some induced EMF due to movement of the bar magnet. I hope you understand this point. I will next go to our another observation as the bar magnet is taken away from the loop 
there is a deflection of galvanometer needle but this time in opposite direction what does this mean this simply means that the direction of induced emf has changed and due to this change of direction of emf the current must flow in opposite direction next observation is that whenever we held the bar magnet stationary there was no deflection in the volt uh, voltmeter so this means that if there is no change in the magnetic flux through the coil then there will be no emf induced so now it's time to conclude so in conclusion we can say that faraday's law the induced emf is dependent upon the rate of change of flux linking through the conducting loop or coil as you have seen if we have if when we have bowed the magnet fast toward the coil the magnitude of emf induced was more and when we bowed the magnet slower slowly toward the coil the magnitude of magnitude of emf was less therefore to have an induced emf the flux through the coil must change so this is one of the conclusion it means the emf in a closed coil can only be produced if there is a change of magnetic flux through the coil which is evident if because when we have kept the bar magnet stationary there was no emf induced as seen in the voltmeter next as we know flux is equal to dot product of magnetic flux density vector and area vector this means that flux through a coil can be changed either by changing the magnetic flux density vector or by changing the area vector or by changing both in electrical machine faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is most used therefore i will suggest and recommend recommend you to carefully understand this concept thank you